So guys, up until now, we have learned about the basics of databases, MySQL, phpMyAdmin, and we have written some SQL queries. In this video, we are going to learn about how to connect PHP with MySQL and how to create a basic CRUD application. Okay, so let's start. So we are back to Sublime Text. In this video, we will learn the following things. First, how to connect PHP to a MySQL database. And then we will create a CRUD application to do the following things. Insertion, deletion, update, and finally search. So this is what we are going to do in this and the next video. So without further delay, let's first create our first file. We are canceling out this one. And let's save this file as crud form dot php. <coughs> so we are going to use our same database that we have created in the previous video that is mywt underscore one as you can see. And we are going to use the same table users table. Okay. So in the first part, we are going to create a form that will contain three input fields. The first one would be name. The second one would be email and the third one would be password and there will be a submit button. So once the user fills the form and submits the button, the information from this curd underscore form dot PHP will be transferred to another file and that particular file in turn will communicate with the PHP my admin and over there it will use the MySQL to update the users table. Okay, so this is how the overall application will work. So let's quickly create one HTML form. We are starting with the basic HTML tags and inside we are going to add title crud application. Let's quickly create a body tag. In the body tag we are adding one h1 which will say insert user and then we will create a form which will have three input fields. The first label would be name, there will be a br, then there will be an input with a type is equal to text. Let's give it a name of name and let's give it a br. Let's copy this two more times. The second time let's keep the label to be email and the name to be email again. <coughs> Last uh, what we can do is <coughs> we can set the type to email too and over here we can set the type to password and let's keep the name to be password okay now one last thing is needed that is one input button so let's keep the type to be equal to submit and the value to be equal to add user okay so now let's save the file <coughs> let's go to google chrome and let's try the page that we have just created php demo the name of the file is crud form.php. Okay, crud from. I'm really sorry. I have typed from. It should be form. Let's press enter. And this is the form. Okay, it has got some pre filled values that is coming from my browser. Otherwise, your form should look like this. Okay, you can also add one more br so that it looks consistent reload <coughs> yeah so this is the form now what we want is once the user types the name email and password and hits this button the data should be inserted over this in, into this table the users table this is what we want but this time we are doing it using php okay so let's start on how to do this the first thing that you have to do is you have to connect php to mysql and then over there the first thing that you will do is you will catch these form elements that the user has sent in and then you will write an insert query to insert those particular elements into the database. Okay, so we'll do it step by step. But before that, 
we have to add two important things. The first one is we have to tell the file to which file the response is sent on the server. So let's create a file called crud logic.php. This is the file which will handle all the logic for this application, the backend of this application. And obviously the method will be equal to post. Let's save this. Okay, so now we are creating our second file for the project and we are saving it as let's save it as crud underscore logic dot php. So over here in this file, the logic goes like this. The first thing that you're going to do is you're opening PHP tags and you're closing PHP tags. The first task that you'll do is you'll connect to the my SQL database. In step two, you will receive the information coming from HTML file. And step three, you will write an insert query to insert data into users table. So these are the three tasks that you have to do in order to complete this application. So let's quickly jump into the first task. Okay. So you just have to write two lines of codes in PHP to connect to a MySQL database. What are those two lines? Those two lines are dollar connection is equal to my SQL I underscore connect. My SQL I underscore connect is a built in function in PHP, which helps PHP to connect to a MySQL database. If you provide three things to it, the first one is the name of the computer in which the database is stored. So currently the server, the server on which PHP is running and the server on which MySQL is installed, both are same. That's why what we are doing is we are writing localhost. Localhost means this computer. So PHP is telling that the MySQL is also installed on the same computer. So you will write localhost. The second thing that you have to specify is your username on MySQL database. By default, the username is root. And in the third part, you have to provide your password on the MySQL database. By default, the password is blank. So this is what you do. So this MySQL connect function basically returns some information that is stored in this connection variable. See what happens is there are multiple times uh, uh, in an application when the application is trying to connect to a database. So it's not feasible that every time you are going to call this function. So instead what happens is you connect for the first time and you get some important, uh, important information and you store that in the dollar connection variable. So now every subsequent time that you need to uh, connect to a database rather than writing this whole MySQL statement, what we do is we simply pass on this variable. So consider this to be an kind of invitation card. You just show to this inv invitation card and you are getting access to everywhere. Okay. So this was the first line. Now the second line which is required to <coughs> connect to a database is this my SQL I select DB and over here you provide the name of the database that you want to connect to in our case it is my WBOT underscore one and since you are again trying to communicate with the database server you have to just provide the connection variable okay so in the first step we connected to the database server and in the second step we connected to our database so it's a two-step process okay so once you are done with these two lines it basically means that you have connected to your database let's save the file <coughs> let's move on to the second part that is receiving the input given by the user and we have done it previously in uh, the dollar underscore post tutorial let's do it dollar name is a local variable in this file and it will be equal to dollar underscore post 
name. Similarly, dollar email would be equal to dollar underscore post email. Always make sure these names should be equal to these things. Okay, the tags should be same. Dollar password, dollar underscore post password. I'm sorry, password. Okay, so we are done with our second part. Now the only part left is the third part. So what we have to do is we have to write that same query. If you remember from the previous video, insert into our database, uh, our table users, and we want to store user ID, name, email, and password with the values of null the name will be kept here email would be kept here and password would be kept here now since we have to provide these values and you know the values coming from html are these right so we'll simply copy these and we'll paste it over here so it would look like this dollar name dollar email and dollar password let's word wrap <clears throat> so this is the query that we have to run okay so before running let's save this query in a variable like this and let's call the variable to be dollar query so this is a long string variable in which we have stored the entire query that we are going to run so now that we have stored our entire query in a variable now we will run the query to run a query MySQL query in PHP, you use a built in function called MySQLI underscore query. And this particular function requires two parameters. The first one is the handshake variable dollar connection, and the second is the query itself that you want to run. Okay. And once you run this statement, what happens is this particular query will be passed on to PHP admin and it will be executed over there. Okay. So if it's executed properly, it returns with a value of one. Okay. So now let's put it inside a if statement. So if it returns a value of one, we'll print out user inserted properly. Else we'll echo out some error occurred. Okay. So let's go back to Google Chrome and test localhost PHP demo. The name of the file is crud underscore form dot PHP. So this is the file. Let's add a user Amir Khan. And the email is Amir at the rate gmail.com. And the password is Amir1234. Now let's click on add user. If the user is inserted properly, it will be shown over here in our users table. Click. It says value inserted properly. Let's go to phpMyAdmin and let's click on the browse to check if the values are inserted or not. And as you can see, we have got our user. Okay. So this is how you connect to a MySQL database and insert a value using PHP. In the previous video, we completed the first part of our CRUD application. We created a functionality using which we were able to insert users from an HTML form to our MySQL database. In this video, we are going to complete the second functionality that is deletion. So the functionality will work like this. The user will get the following form. Instead of these three fields, he will be greeted with only one field and it will ask for the ID of the user. So we'll capture the ID from the user and we'll take that to our backend and using that ID, we'll delete the particular row from our users table. So this is what we are going to build in the current video. So let's start. 
uh, what we can do is for future reference we can create a comment and store it like this insert form and we can start from here let's add one h1 which will say delete user and uh, with our, without typing it again we can simply copy it and paste and instead of three fields let's keep only one field which will ask for id of the user the type would be number uh, we can also delete this line and the name would be equal to user underscore id and instead of add user we can keep it as delete user so let's save it and let's reload and see so this is how the front end will look okay now let's go to the back end in the back end the following steps will be done first we will connect to the database that is already being done in the file second we will receive the user id and then we will execute the delete query this is what we are going to do in the back end so for that what we can do is we can comment out this entire section of the code and we can also write php code for insertion okay now to receive the user id we have to simply write dollar user id a local variable of this file is equal to dollar underscore post user id and to execute the query if you remember the query was delete from the table name that is users and a where condition in our case the where would be where user id is equal to dollar user id the user id coming from the form now what we can do is we can store this in a variable called query as a string like this and now just like the last time we can put our mysql i underscore query function which will contain two things the connection variable and the query itself so if this particular query is executed properly using mysql query function we will echo out user deleted successfully else we will simply print out some error occurred okay so this is the logic it's quite similar to insertion so let's go back and let's first let's select this user we want to delete this user lk advani the user id is one right so we will go and reload and now inside this form we will provide one as the id and now once we click on the delete user it says unterminated comment starting from line 25 it's a warning it's not an error so even without this the code will be running properly so let's first see if the code ran properly or not so let's go and click on browse and as you can see our user has been deleted <clears throat> now let's go back to the error it says on line 25 uh, it's a warning it's maybe because we have used both the kinds of comments that is double slash and uh, this asterisk and even in between we have added these comment maybe that is why okay great so let's save it and this is the file that will be used to delete a user 